Hello guys in this tutorial we are going to create this. It is simple photo slideshow animation. Guys please do subscribe. If you are watching this. I am very poor in subscribers. Anyway so without delay let's take action. As usual make new comp. Name it to main. Set resolution to 1920 by 1080. FPS to 25 and duration 10 seconds. Hit OK. First go to project panel and drag and drop your wooden background into comp. Adjust its size make sure make its size slightly bigger than comp resolution. Go to effects and presets panel and search for curves. And drag and drop it on background. Then go to effects controls tab. And adjust settings. Just like me. Then go to composition menu and make new composition. And name it to frame underscore zero one. And set resolution to 1280 by 720. Hit OK. Then go to project panel. And drag and drop your first photo into comp. Make new solid and set color to white. Hit OK. Select Solid Layer, then Rectangle Tool, and Create Mask on Solid Layer just like me. Then go to Mask Property and set Blend Mode to Subtract. Go to Main Composition, and then go to Project Panel and drag and drop newly created frame underscore zero one onto main composition then press s key on keyboard to see scale property and adjust scale to 60 percent go to effects and presets tab and search drop shadow Drag and drop it on frame 1 layer. Go effects controls tab and set distance 15. And softness to 39. Go to Project Panel, and select Frame 1 layer, and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it, and drag and drop duplicate layer to Main Comp. Again go to Project Panel, select Frame 2 layer, and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Do same till you get total 5 frame compositions. and drag and drop them onto main composition. Arrange them wisely. Go inside the frame 2 comp, and delete image layer, and drag and drop second image from project panel. Then go to main composition, and go inside frame 3 comp, and delete image layer, and drag and drop third image into comp.
Again go to main composition. And go inside frame 4 comp. And delete image layer. And drag and drop fourth image into comp. Again go to main composition. And go inside frame 5 comp. And delete image layer. And drag and drop fifth image into comp. Then go to main composition. And select frame 1 comp. And press S key on keyboard to see scale property. Select scale property and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then select frame 2 comp. And press Ctrl plus V to paste it on frame 2 comp. Do same with remaining 3 frame comp players. Then select frame 2 comp. And press R key to see rotation property. And set to 5 degree. Select frame 3 comp. And press R key. And set rotation to minus 5 degree. Select frame 4 comp. And press R key. Set rotation to 6 degree. Select frame 5 comp. And press R key. Set rotation to minus 3 degree. Select frame 1 comp. And go to effects controls tab. And control plus C. To copy drop shadow effect. Then select frame 2 comp and control plus V to paste it. Do same with remaining 3 frame comp players. And then make all layers 3D. If you did not find 3D switch then press on toggle switches and modes. Then make new camera layer. Set preset to 50 millimeters and hit OK. Then make new null object. Select camera pick whip and connect it to null object. And make null object 3D. Select frame 1 comp and press P key to see position property. Go one second forward on timeline, and make keyframe on position property. Then get back to beginning of timeline, and decrease position Z value till your images goes out of camera sight. Just like me. Then select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. And Ctrl plus C to copy position property. Then select frame 2 comp and move 1 second forward on timeline. And press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Select frame 3 comp. And move 1 second forward on timeline. And Ctrl plus V to paste it. Select frame 4 comp. And move 1 second forward on timeline. And Ctrl plus V to paste it. And finally select frame 5 comp. And move 1 second forward on timeline. And control plus V to paste it. Select null object. And press P key to see position property. Then press Shift plus R key to see rotation property and position property together. Make sure time head at beginning of timeline. Set keyframe on all properties. Then go 5 seconds forward at timeline. Ok guys I made mistake here. You can see our one frame position is very erratic. So you guys only have to do just select frame 5. And set parented pick whip to none. Then go one second backward on timeline which means you should have to go at 4th second on timeline. Select frame 4 comp. And press Ctrl plus C. To copy position property from it. And then select frame 5 comp and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Then go one second forward on timeline. And connect camera p quip to null object. Then select Null Object and press P key on keyboard to see position. And press Shift plus R to see rotation and position properties together. Select all keyframe which we have created earlier. 
and move them 5 seconds forward. Go to beginning of timeline. Set Y rotation to 23 degree. Set X rotation to 9 degree. Set position Y to 557. And set Z position to 273. Now let's look at the preview.